Well, you already mentioned cybersecurity, Mike, but let me ask you about another specific. I know every board wants to do a better job of risk management oversight. Doesn't it just seem logical in terms of organization and in terms of competence to assign risk management to the audit committee? Well, in some respects, yes, but in some respects, no. And let me, let me take those one by one. In, in what respects, yes? Well, it's a, it's a committee of the board. It's, it's uh, got structure. It's got expertise. Uh, it's, got a, it's got a mission. It's probably already meeting periodically. It already has an agenda. And um, uh, it, it's, it's an existing committee of the board which is working and working seriously. So those are, those are points in favor of making the audit committee in some sense a broader risk management committee. However, when you, when you continue to th think about it, there are some arguments that go the other way. You know, for example, you mentioned expertise. Well, does the skill set that goes with overall risk management really match the particular expertise of the audit committee? I mean, keep in mind, we're talking about financial reporting, debits and credits, and the income statement, and the balance sheet, and the notes. When we're talking about risk management, we're talking about credit risk, uh, technology risk, uh, liquidity risk. If, if an audit committee has expertise in some of those areas, it's only going to be by coincidence and asking the audit committee to take on more and more responsibility for risk takes them further and further away from financial reporting. And keep in mind one core thing, and that is the law doesn't say the audit committee has responsibility for cybersecurity and credit risk and international currency markets. The law says the audit committee has responsibility for financial reporting, the oversight of financial reporting, and there's no exception if the audit committee is busy on other stuff.